But they're crossing the valley there. Is it this hill right here? Yeah, on the other side of that hill. So maybe we can get over here and get up there and hit them off. Just heard two shots from Mike. We saw a covey out on the hillside over here, but when we got there, they were gone. So we split up looking for them. So walk towards the shots is what I'm doing. Where you go? I just took one. God, it looks like a good hit too. It's all feathers. Where? Where's the bird? Cool bone on the ground. It has to be here somewhere. Man, there's a bunch of bones here. Something died. Ah, damn. Ah, damn. I totally missed that. I really want to recover the bird I thought I hit. Maybe that was one of the one I that I thought I hit. But I do want to check to make sure it just didn't crawl into a bush that I can't see. Looks like a perfect hit right here too. A lot of feathers. I've missed, I, I hit one, but I can't, rec I didn't recover it. I saw feathers on the ground, but I couldn't find the bird. At least we're into some quail. Let's see if we can connect and not suck at shooting. Do you want to walk that way or do you want to drive? All right, I feel like we're leaving birds to find birds. How many did you miss? So I've taken... Take five. Did I take five? I think so, because I heard two and one and two. So I did a one. And then a one, okay. and then a two, so I want to say four. But I want to say I hit one because there's feathers on the ground. I just hit it poorly. I think I waited too long to take my shot for fear of missing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I heard your shots, I was like, ah, shit, I'm really yeah. far away. Like, let me just see, and sure enough, they're all like literally at the truck. Yeah, I saw one run near the truck, and I was like, what? What was that? And then I lost it because it didn't take off. To the right a bit, yeah. You busted them up out of here. All have gotten grouped back up. I'm like hearing them off in the distance. Mike is like way over there. I think I hear them out in the distance. That's what I can tell. They're really far away. Left, right, right, right. So Mike got one. One shot usually means you got something. I didn't realize you wounded him. Female California quail. That's one. She got hit twice. <laughs> hit it and I just watched it kind of land. Yeah. Like, all right, well, it's going to die there. And I walked like right up to it and then it just popped up and ran off. Yeah, I saw this one running. So you shot it up there. Yeah, I shot it right, right over there. If I had a shell in, I would have shot it a couple feet away. Click. I sent you a message because I could hear him behind the truck. I, I chased one over there, missed. Yeah, I thought Sock. you could get back soon. Okay. 
I'm gonna do one more sweep. Let's just do like a out and back. Beautiful California male. All right, so two birds in the hand is worth how many missed shots? Eh, not 20. Between the two of us, yeah. So 20 missed shots, two birds in the hand. Teamwork on one. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I like knocking down birds. Chasing birds all morning into the afternoon. The, the fact that we got two out of, uh, dude, I feel like I've missed four to five birds. <laughs> yeah, I easily miss the same number. Man, it's just the ammo shortage. It's no the practice. ammo shortage. No practice. Yes, that's what I'm gonna blame it on. Yeah, me too. I, this is the, the uh, that last quail is the first bird that I shot. Sorry, the first thing in the air that I shot with this <laughs> with this shotgun. The your bird that I that you wounded that I shot Ooh. was on the ground. It's called sluicing. Slu oh, okay, sluicing. <laughs> that's good to know. Last mountain quail. I sluiced yeah. that one. Yeah, I sluiced one as well. Oh, and that that's two species of quail for me. Yeah. So that's a mountain quail and now a valley quail. Let's just go for a quail slam. But I know if we try to go for a quail slam, that most of them are doable. And then there's one that's like in a specific area and there's not a ton of them. I think it's the Montezuma's quail. But they all taste good. There you go. All right, so the goal was to do something out uh, in the desert, but we had to run home to our families. And we're gonna clean them out real quick. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut them off at the knuckle because I, I kind of still like having the wing piece because it's just kind of cool. Right, right, right there. This one got clipped on the wings, all right? And then I'm gonna cut off the head. The head's gonna take the skin off. So let's make a little hair there. Start peeling away. I'm going to cut off the leg here. Ooh, look at that piece of shot there. That like almost didn't go all the way through. Alright, and that's a mostly clean bird. I'm going to spatchcock it. I'm going to cut down the spine through the bones. Just cut all the way out. Now that the spine's cut out, take out all the entrails there. Make sure to clean it right out. Indy, back up. I know, it's really interesting, Indy. Push that out a bit. All right, so even though this is spatchcocked now and it could lay in the pan flat and look really nice, I'm gonna break it apart and just chase pellets out of it. That is... Corn starch. Vegetable oil or peanut oil? Put them in. Spicy for the kids. Yeah. Now, it is less spicy if you don't get into the seats. Do you have a little baby knife here? Point between them. This is a pairing knife? This is what you would consider pairing? Yeah. You know, like I remind myself to not touch myself in the eyeballs. Or, yeah, or that. Oh, 
Manly Chimchurri. 